Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die Alpha 21. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to set out and uh, do the next trader quest. We are um, pushing to finish the Tier 1 quest so we can get the bicycle. Um, not really a whole lot to update you on uh, since the last episode. We got a little bit of meat and red tea uh, cooking up here. And um, we'll probably just actually let those finish cooking up. Why don't we drink one of these right now? And we'll also take one meat right now to get ourselves topped off. And then we'll put that in there. Make sure we have a full stack of meat there. Um, so one thing that I am completely out of is honey. So we're going we're gonna to be looking for um, stumps as we go out and about and do our thing here. And it looks like we're going to go over this way to do this quest. It's another clear quest. A little further out than the ones we've been doing so far, but we should be getting pretty close, I'm thinking, uh, to finishing Tier 1. If we take a look at this, <clears throat> um, we've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I think, isn't it, do I have to do 8 or 10? I can't remember. Um, so anyway, we'll just keep going. Uh, the other, of course, you know, good thing about doing this is that we get... Uh, pretty good rewards, even for tier ones. I mean, if nothing else, the magazine bundles have been just fantastic. So I might even continue doing tier ones even after tier two opens up for us. Uh, just because it's a, a really quick way to, to really get those magazines. Uh, we get a we get three per uh, a total of nine magazines. I'm wondering if that's intended or if that's a bug. If it's a bug, then I want to take it. <laughs> Take advantage of that as long as we can before uh, the Fun Pimps uh, patch that out. Uh, maybe it is intended. I don't know. So, if it is, that's fine with me. Rabbit! Come here, buddy. Oh, I have no stamina left. Okay, whatever. We'll let him go. We got lots of meat. If we were desperate, we'd chase them all across the countryside, but we're not desperate. Uh, but, like I said, we do want to get some honey, so we're going to be hitting stumps. And there we go. We got some honey. Fantastic. I, I have, I've said this before now, but um, the loot is just better in this alpha. It's it's not OP, but the fun pimps have, have improved it because it used to be so damn stingy, and it has been so damn stingy ever since alpha 17, if you ask me. Uh, it's been stingy. They made it a little bit better in, like, what, 18, 19, something like that. But it's always just been really, really stingy. So, you know, and that's part of the joy of this game is finding loot. That's one of the things that you do. So for them to make it feel like it's a little more relaxed, I guess is the word, it, it, it makes the game more fun. I enjoy it more. So just uh, they've done such a good job with this alpha. I, there's very few things. Um, for me to complain about. I remember having a lot of performance issues, especially in not so much Alpha 20, but Alpha 19, I had terrible performance issues. Um, and I'm this is very smooth. Uh, I don't I don't remember what my settings are. I'm not on Ultra, but I'm on you know kind of a, a custom mix of of high and ultra and medium you know type of type of settings, and it's just ran so good for me. In fact. Where's the, uh, yeah, see, we got, we're at 60, 70 FPS right now, 55. And, um, what we should actually look at that again when we're back in town. Cause it's always, you know, going to be lower in town with all the buildings and stuff that's going on, but it's smooth as a baby's butt right now, man. So just very much enjoying this alpha. All right, let's do a little bit of double looting. We don't go batshit crazy about it, but uh, we'll do a little bit, and then we'll start the quest. That's Billy the Biker. I, uh, we could, we should be able to kill him, but he, he's dangerous as all get out, because not only is he one of the toughest and hardest hitting zombies, he's also fast. He's lightning fast. So I'd rather not mess with him, especially since I don't even have my um, pipe machine gun with me at the moment because I'm out of ammo. So yeah, let's just send him packing. Hopefully he doesn't come too close to us. 
Okay, I think that should take care of the double looting. So let's start the quest. This is a clear. Uh, once again, I'm just going to run around the perimeter of the place and loot whatever we can. We'll keep an eye on Billy the Biker. Some potato seeds, that's good. We'll get another load of wood here. Um, let me make sure we're loaded too. Oh, something else. When I was editing um, the last video, well, actually the last two videos, it was one big long editing session. That took me a long time, but I hope you guys uh, enjoyed episodes 9 and 10. Uh, but anyway, I noticed that I actually left a spear magazine in the mailbox that's in that cul-de-sac by our horde base. So I have to remember to go back and grab that. Okay. Uh, there's a bunny and a crawler. Can't see him. Yeah, blah, blah, yourself. He did. Okay, where's the rabbit? Oh my gosh, I have no idea where he is. That's just that was just a hail mary shot there. They're very hard to see in the grass like this. Oh, you know what? We can't get too far away from the PR. Let's just go. Let's just do this. Okay, so this is, what is this, a clear? The Presley Dwellers. What does that even mean? I don't know. We got a red dot over here. So there's going to be somebody right around the corner here. Um... Let's close that door in case Billy the Biker does come this way. Okay, all good loot. Destroyed a workbench. Oh, look at that. Nice. So we can now craft the forge. That is fantastic. Absolutely fan freaking tastic, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's do this. So we'll probably do that when we get back uh, to the base. Okay, there's an unlocked door in there. Uh, don't see. Oh, I bet you there's a Zeke in there. Or not. There could have been. Okay, let's grab this. We're also um, on the lookout for a helmet light, too, as soon as we can get one. That would be great. I hear Billy the Biker walking around outside. You know what we might actually do is get his attention and kill him while we can block the door? Because he scares me. I mean, he is the one zombie in the early game. Him and... To a lesser extent, Hawaii Five-0. But the the thing about Hawaii Five-0 is you can outrun him. Billy the biker, he's almost impossible to outrun. Where's he at? Um, I heard him walking around out here somewhere. gonna upgrade this because he hits like a Mack truck. One, two, three, four, five. Five shots just to knock him down and that's after being hit by a bow. Whoa, no, don't start doing that shit. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Okay, we have to be careful because he can hit us.
So you guys are starting to get the, the idea of how tough this son of a bitch is on insane. He's still not dead. Jeez. Okay, let's uh get this repaired. Good lord. Can you imagine if I was going head to head with this guy? I I lost count. <laughs> you guys can count it on the video. Maybe I'll do it when I edit it, but yeah. He is no joke. I mean, absolutely. out on that deal it would have taken just a little bit longer to kill Billy these guys would have hurt us that's a lot of zombos to have to take on all at once oh geez okay we're gonna um we're gonna leave this in place um the problem too is they're they're not they're not gonna go far they're gonna stick stick around here so uh, we're going to have to be really careful. If we can get one or two at a time, that's not going to be a problem. But if they all come at once, we're in trouble. Let's, um... Let me see if I can get the attention of one. Steve. Okay, come here, Steve. Steve. Oh, points, baby. Okay. Now, uh, like I mentioned, I think in the last episode, is we're we're no longer going to eat canned food that has recipes. We're going to save that. Is this better than what I have? Uh, I'm not really seeing the same level stuff having different stats. They all seem to be the same. This is probably worth fixing up and selling, however. Um, we're going to need to make some room. Is there anything in here that I can use as a container? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put some stuff in here. Um, I will do my level best not to forget that I have stuff in here. Oh, shit. I thought I had a full thingy of bandages. I guess I don't. Let's actually keep those with us. I do have um, a bunch of bandages back at the base, but, of course, it's not doing us any good right now. Uh, okay. What's supposed to go in that slot? Oh, the torch, huh? <laughs> Good room. I got to remember what was supposed to go in that slot. Okay, let's go in here. so we can all see you and me wow what a shot all right i think that was an egger too it sure was i <laughs> suck at egger nice and some vitamins we'll take it and some water we'll take that too okay I believe we're done in the basement, so yeah, we'll grab this for plastic. We are going to need to make more than one dew collector eventually. I did uh, also, and I showed this in the montage from the last, in episode 9, I did find the book that allows us to make mineral water, so that's going to also help tremendously with keeping our thirst under control. I think I see a zombie over in the kitchen. It looks like an Arlene, maybe. Bookcase. Spear Hunter. Okay, we already know this. I don't think we get a lot of XP, so this is going to be worth selling because we get 100 coins for that. Okay, I see two red dots. 
I'm pretty sure that's an Arlene in the corner down there. The other one is probably right on the other side of that couch. Okay, so let's, um... Oh, shit! I guess he was in a, a closet. Scared the bejeebus out of me. Okay. Um. Hmm. There's still a zombie um, probably on the other side of that couch, too. So even though I can visibly see Arlene way in there, I don't think she's shown up on the meter yet. All right. You know what? Screw this. You're taking too long. Get out here. Don't be coming in here, you hacks. Okay. Yeah, Arlene is still at large. Another bookcase. Harvesting tools and more spears. I'm assuming we can still find wall safes. Um, I'm going to start grabbing a little more cloth, too, because I've been using it. Okay, let's check this luggage. It's a nice shirt. Um, I can never remember which one of these are better for warmth. Cold resist. Uh, definitely the hoodie is. Okay. So this... We, we might sell it or we might scrap it. We'll see. <laughs> Shit. That door's open. that my goodness he's actually one of the zombos from the POI as opposed to one of the running horde zombos oh shit quick another Billy the biker hits to knock him down the first time. That's his second knockdown after eight hits. Nine hits. Okay, so nine... I think every one of those hit him in the head, I think. So it took nine hits to kill him. Alright, well, let's just leave that door blocked. This other Zeke is probably caught on the... Oh, he's, oh, he's trying to break through that block. What the hell did that miss? Seriously? Actually, you know what? Let's just go down and take care of him. Just about broke through. <laughs> okay. kitchen. Nice. Nice. Well, that stuff's broken. Okay, so 
where do we go from here? Um, out this way? Yeah. The wandering horde still out there. Hey, Bo. Nice. That's an upgrade. Let's not repair it first. Great. Okay, so... Let's go out here. There we go. Fat loot's room and I just saw Arlene spawn in in the corner. Is she the only one left? No, nope, there's two. Okay, let's get Arlene first. Oh, I see the other one. He's standing right there. It's a, a yo. Whoops. Done. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize it was so late. We better get trucking here. Very nice. Uh, I still need a chest piece and a... Um, a helmet for a full heavy armor set. Uh, but we got a mod for our shotgun, which is awesome. in the savage country. Bow crafting. All right, quality three bows. I'll take it. We're going to need some uh, grass for that. Okay, so let's see. we got to head back that way. We are going to need to be careful of this running horde, though. I've already attracted some of them. Okay, so uh, let's see. We have some stuff that we stashed in here. What did we stash in here? Okay, so that's super easy to come by. That's easy to come by. Is that enough? I think we need three of these to make the bow. Yeah, so here, we can pick those up along the way. Easy to come by. Scrap. Toss. Scrap. Toss. Yeah, we can toss this. Um, 28 gold. Uh, or, yeah, dukes, whatever. I think we'll, we'll hang on to that. This is only 12. Let's scrap that for a little extra space. That's not a big deal. Um, this is not used in a recipe. But the rest of these canned foods are. Two cornmeal is not a big deal. I want, um, well, I definitely want those two things. This, I don't think that's that big of a deal. So we're going to leave that behind. All right, so we're, let's, um, let's scrap those again just to free up a couple more slots. And uh, feathers are super easy to come by. Or actually, here, let's just make arrows out of them rather than waste them. And I think I think that's good enough. We can we can move relatively 
well. Okay, we've got it. Mm, I don't know, man. It's, I think it's, it's too late because here's the thing. By the time we get back to the trader, she'll be closed and, and it'll kick us out anyway. We might just need to spend the night here. Okay, yeah, I think we'll do that. So guys, I'm going to just cut the camera here. I'm going to spend the night in this house. Uh, maybe I'll just, you know, break some stuff down or whatever. And I will meet you back at Trader Jen's in the morning when she opens up at 6 a.m. Okay, so I'll see you then. Okay, guys, we're back at the base. The, the trader's not quite open yet. Uh, so I thought before we go over there to turn our quest in, let's uh, go ahead and make ourselves a forge. So we're going to need 50 cobblestone rocks. <clears throat> um, I have no cobblestone rocks? I guess not. Hmm, I thought I had cobblestone rocks. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I do. Right here. Never mind. I'm blind as a bat. Okay, so we got the cobblestone. We need 10 leather. We need three duct tape. And three pipes and a log. Okay, so let's go there and make a log just out of wood, which is interesting because usually it's the other way around, but hey, there you go. You obtain all the ingredients for the forge recipe. Oh, that's cool that it tells you that. That's really cool. It's probably because it's um, it's up there uh, marked. Very nice. Okay. Let's craft our very first forge here in Alpha 21, ladies and gentlemen. Very excited to get that going. And then um, we're going to... I don't have a lot of, of iron. I want to save some scrap iron. Let's save that much. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll uh, um, smelt the rest into... And start making iron agates. Um, okay, so let's put this down here. Um, I think, I think for now, we'll put our. I'm probably. I don't know if I'm going to block that wall or not. So let's just put the forge here. Okay, nice. So it looks like we have the usual tools that the forge requires. We'll put some wood in there, and then we'll make some forged iron. We also need clay. Uh, yeah, I actually don't have a lot of clay either, so we're gonna need to. Um... Oh right, we've gotta we've gotta smelt this stuff down first. Uh, again, in Undead Legacy, you don't have to smelt first. You just put it in your inventory. So, uh, okay, no worries. Let's turn this on and. Uh, does it, does it tell us how long the smelting itself takes? I don't know. I have a feeling we have too much wood in there. So yeah, let's just let it run for 16 minutes or so and we'll see how that does. Okay. Made a few more, have a few more teas cooking up in here. Let's put these in there. All this stuff down at the bottom here, we're going to sell to the trader. Um, I'm going to have to start thinking about making some more storage here pretty soon, too. Now that we have a forge, we're no longer going to sell uh, brass or lead. Because that will start going into the forge itself. I already uh, got my jar of water out of there. Okay, let's go do the trade-in for the trader. Good job. I knew you could do it. What does this do? T-shirts. Nah, we don't give a shit about that. Uh, I think I'm going to go once again with the crafting skill bundle. Okay, well, let's take a look at your inventory. And we'll sell you these items. Uh, I, again, I don't really care much for the burst mod schematic. I'm kind of more of a either a single shot or a spray and pray kind of guy. Uh, so we're going to sell that and make 160 coin in the process. There we go. Okay. Thanks for the business. You're welcome. Stay safe out there. We're going to just keep pumping out these jobs until we get all the way through tier one. So this is the next closest fetch. But if you do this for me, I will. Thanks, son. 
I knew you wouldn't let me down. I think she was going to give me employee of the month or something like that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here. We have three cooking. Very nice. Okay, so let's... Uh, boiled meat and yucca juice. Okay. This is... Oh, bacon and eggs, finally. Okay, nice. And coffee. Very good. We can make a stone sledgehammer three. And... Or no, four. And did we get anything for knippies? Okay, bone knife quality two. We already actually have a quality two. Oh, no, never mind. Quality three. Okay, let's look at this. So um, we need five more to, to go to spear. I don't even think I'm going to bother making the orange spear. But once we get to the yellow spear, uh, then we'll probably make it and see you know, what it can do. Uh, so we're only two books away from the green bow, which is good. Uh, blades, two books away from the green bone knife. We can not yet make a hammer. So I'm probably going to hold off on that until we really start getting, uh, start building in earnest. But I wanted to actually look at food. Okay, so we've unlocked everything in tier one. Bacon and eggs and coffee in particular uh, are going to be two really, really good things for us to make. And I have been saving my eggs now that we can make grilled meat. So <clears throat> bacon and eggs is in our near future, ladies and gentlemen, for sure. Uh, let's see, medical. Yeah, that's where we are. Armor. Okay. And then, uh, oh, workstations. So we're going to need, we're going to need five... Point, oh, wait, five points? Yeah, we might be thinking about advanced engineering for our next points because these workbenches are going to be super important, but I think we have to spec into intellect a bit to, to do that. Well, no. Uh, oh, I've got two points. I do. Oh, wow, okay. Um, we Let's finish out our, our spear, though. Okay, so we have Perception 7, and then when we get our next point, uh, we're going to do Lanceman, and then after that, I think I'm going to stop uh, on Perception and the Spears and probably switch over to Advanced Engineering so we can get our workstations going better. Uh, okay, so let's see. We took our job from you, and are there any... Um, yeah, so see, see, yeah, she doesn't... None of that's going to reset until day 10, actually, anyway. So we'll have to wait till day 10 because we are on the lookout for, uh, what are they called? Jailbreakers. So when we go out and do that buried treasure, we're guaranteed to get into it. Fantastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. I'm probably going to, what time is it? Man, we got lots of daylight. Uh, I think, I think we'll go ahead and do the next quest in at, to start the next episode. And then probably later on in this game day, I'll probably uh, just start going and gathering resources. We need iron and clay in particular so that we can, you know, start making um, iron ingots in the forge. But we're one way or the other, we're definitely out of time in this episode. Uh, so, oh, you know what? I want to go back and make a, a torch because I lost my torch last night. Um, so, yeah, we're going to wrap up this episode here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye.